Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie Jade, and today I have a brand new video for you all. So today we're finally going to be reviewing the brand new REM Foundation by Ariana Grande's makeup line. I have wanted to get my hands on this since they first started teasing it. So today we're actually gonna be doing an unboxing, a review, and just an overall honest opinion on this foundation. I just wanna get straight on to today's video. I hope you all enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, leave me a lovely little comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because it means so much to me. Without further ado, let's get started. So I've now got you zoomed in and we are ready to get started. So let's have a first look at the product. We're going to try it out and give a full review, but a first look at the product. This is what the box looks like. It is just like all of the other Rem Beauty boxes and honestly... It looks so cool. I love the kind of like space theme to it. So I got mine in the shade Light 9P. So it was kind of hard to decide the best shade for me. This is one in the end that I did think was work best for me, but I'm still not 100% sure we have got the right one. I personally felt like I was in between 9N and 9P and I was just in between those two shades but this is the one we've ended up with in the end so this is what it looks like when we take it out of the packaging I think it looks really really different to most foundations it's a very unique bottle that's something I love about her makeup line is it's all very different and very you can see that it's Ariana's you could see that that product is from Ariane Beauty like you can't just look and think oh I wonder what brand that is you can tell that they're all from the same brand it's very very slim for travel which I think is really good but it's also so very different like normally things are more of just a tube bottle whereas this one's more of an oval and I just think it looks really cool I really like it so you've got the Ariane Beauty logo on the top and when we take the lid off it's just got this pumping dispenser here haven't used this at all yet so I'll have to do a couple to get it going so like I said this is in the shade light 9p looks a little bit dark for me if I'm honest right now however hopefully when I've actually tanned myself properly it will then match a little bit more because I need to have a good time first. So firstly, I'm just going to use some primer. I'm just going in with the Nimia primer. This is the Where It All Starts cream. My skin has been quite dry recently. So that's why I thought I'd use this one because it's really nice and hydrating. I'm going to put this into my face. I haven't looked at too many reviews of the foundation so far. I've watched a few bits here and there. But I've not actually watched like a full review because I just wanted to give like my own opinion of it. I don't want to be influenced by other people. So far what I've seen, I do really like the look of it, but we will see. I feel like I look naked here. I promise I am wearing clothes. I just do look a little bit naked with my hair covering my straps there. Okay, we're going to give it a go. So we're going to start off and pump some of this. Oh, that was a lot easier to get out than I thought on to my hand. So the shade I don't think is too bad at all. It's just a quick look. So that is the shade. I really don't think that's too bad. I'll show you that compared to one of my regular foundations that I use. So I've just got some of my eyebrow foundation on my hand. I'm not gonna lie, that could be a tube. So this one here is the IRL at the top and this one down here is the REM. So it's very, very similar. I do think we've got quite a good shade for that. It looks a lot more similar in person. You can see the difference a little bit more on camera. But we're going to wipe that off. And we're going in with the Ariane one now. I'm actually really excited to see what it's like on my skin. So I have just primed it. I also did a bit of moisturiser beforehand. I think what I'm going to do is I think I might use half it with a brush to blend. And half of it with a beauty blender. Love to do that to really see a good comparison of how I look forms of the two methods of blending. I'm just going to start to apply some of this. It feels really nice, like it doesn't feel really thick, but it feels like it'd be good coverage. So over the summer, I've been more of a glowy kind of foundation mood. I've been doing that kind of thing, but I'm kind of getting back into that phase where I think I'm gonna start going for more of a full coverage mode again. I think for now, I'm still finishing my kind of glowy summer phase, but I think once it starts getting into winter more, I'm gonna go back to that full coverage kind of look so that's just kind of what I'm feeling at the moment so this is how it's looking on my skin and I've just placed it on there I actually quite like the feel of this it feels really really silky it's supposed to have like a lot of things that are in there that are really good for your skin I can write them on screen now but off 
the top of my head. I'll be honest, I don't remember. But I know that it's supposed to have some things that are really good for your skin in there. So I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and my brush and then we're going to get blending. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the brush on this side, Beauty Blender on this side. We're going to go in with the brush first because that is my preferred method of blending. I've got my little Morph mirror here. Oh my days. That is so nice. Okay, if you're more of a full coverage queen than this, it's going to be more of a foundation for you. I love how glowy it's making my skin look. Obviously, the primer will be contributing to that because it's a glowy primer, but it is blending out effortlessly. Do you know what? For a shade match, I don't think that's half bad. I absolutely love well, that's making my skin look. Sorry, what? Oh, I'm obsessed. So far, I absolutely love this. It's like another layer of skin that I've got. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look really heavy or thick, but it does look nice coverage. Okay, we're going to do the other side with a beauty blender now and see how well that performs because usually, I'll be honest, I don't really like it as much as the beauty blender. I feel like it takes a lot of the coverage out of the product. But we'll start here. Okay, I feel like it's looking less glowy with the Beauty Blender. Yeah, so far, I think if I'd have just tried this foundation with the Beauty Blender, I'd have actually been quite disappointed. Because it is quite a pricey foundation. I think I paid £28 for this. Which, to be fair, if you think about it, it's Ariana's makeup line. She could probably charge £50 for a foundation and people would still try it and buy it. So I don't think that's bad at all. But I think the prices she does put up, I think they're actually quite affordable. Yeah, I'll be honest. I prefer this side here. I prefer the side that we've done the brush with compared to using the sponge. Like, it still looks nice, but it has taken a bit of that coverage away. I don't think you could massively tell if I was stood here. I don't think you could actually tell that I've used two different types of blending. But when I look up close in the mirror, I can tell. But that might just speak some a little bit more fussy. But yeah, overall, I do like it so far. Let's see how it performs with some other products. So I do have a new product that I want to try. So why not just put it into this video? So this is completely unsponsored. But I got this Max Factor PR package this morning, which is beautiful. I don't really want to try it, so I thought trying this video because I've not tried it yet and I really want to so this is a concealer oh the Dove reminds me of the elf one which I love okay that might be a little bit too light for me but we just won't use too much okay put some down my nose some on there I'm just gonna see how well it actually performs with that foundation but so far I actually love that foundation it really does remind me of the IRL by Revolution it's like a high-end version of it. So I feel like the IOL could be a good dupe for it. I know the IOL came out before the REM one did, but I feel like it could be a good dupe. Okay, let's see how it formed under my eyes. Do you know what? I quite like that concealer. I thought it was quite nice. And I feel like it's blended quite nicely into that foundation there. Recently, I've been underpainting my concealer instead, which has been helping a lot with my coverage under my under eyes, things like that. But I didn't want to affect the results of the foundation, so we didn't do that today. But the concealer is actually quite nice. I do quite like that, and I think it's gone really nicely with that foundation as well. Okay, I'm gonna do my contour slash bronzer. And I think that's the last set we're going to do because I have another video to film after this with some more base makeup products. I'm going to be doing the Grease Revolution review. I think it'll already be out for you guys, but I'm so excited to try it. I cannot believe how big this palette is. So yeah, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a bronzer, I think. Let's have a look. I'm going to use my NYX one, but I don't know if I've got it out. I've got absolutely no idea what my NYX one is. So we're going to go in with this collection bronzer, which is gorgeous. So I have just been on holiday. You wouldn't be able to tell, like, I don't even look tanned on camera right now. But I have just been on holiday. So my first piece of content I filmed since coming back. Well, I filmed an ad, 
but that doesn't really count. This is like my organic, fun, everyday content. And I'm really happy to be back. Like I really, really missed it. But I just wanted to try. To be fair, it's probably better off that I'm trying this bronzer because then I'm trying a cream product with being the concealer is like a liquidy creamy product. And this is more of a powder product, so it's probably better off. But I do love that NYX contour stick. The first time I tried it, I really wasn't a massive fan at all. I just, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was just the way that I applied it and the way that I blended out that just didn't work for me. But then I picked it back up like a month or two ago and I am obsessed. I just don't think I was applying it right because now I use it, it blends out effortlessly. It looks so sculpted, so beautiful. Like I love it so much. Well, this is still a nice one, but I think as contours go and bronzers go, that one is currently my all-time favourite. Okay, so that has blended in beautifully. It doesn't look like it's picked up any dry patches. It doesn't look patchy at all. It looks really nice, well blended. It just... I really like that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see more the texture of my skin. Because you can see some of the texture coming through the foundation. Which, you know, it's understandable. Everybody has texture. It's normal. My skin actually started to break out a little bit at the end of my holiday. Which I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it was just the sun or using too much sun cream or what it was. But my skin really did start to break out. I'm just going to zoom you in. Now we're zoomed in a little bit more. You can see the texture around here. So you can see it's not like full full coverage because you can see you know my blemishes my texture like bits of scarring freckles things like that around here let's just focus there we go you can see the texture it does look really nice but you can see you know texture on my skin underneath you can see a little bit of blemishes scarring there again at the top there but i love i do love it I think it looks really nice. I love the glowiness. I love the healthy look it's given my skin. I'm actually a really big fan of this foundation. Like I said, it'd be nice to wear. I'm a little bit more tanned. But I don't think it was a bad match at all for my skin. I really don't. But yeah, for a foundation, I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10. I do think it is really, really nice. To be fair, I don't really know what I would choose to improve on this. I think I love the texture of it. I love the feel of it. Like, when you feel it in your fingers, it does feel really silky, really nice. Like, it does feel quite skincare-y. So, that's really good if it does have benefits for your skin in there. I think the price wasn't too bad for what you get. Like, the amount of products you get in here, does it say? We get 30 mil in there. That's not bad. How much do I get in my Revolution one? 23 mil. So you get a little bit more than a drugstore one, which is, that's quite good. This one lasts me a long time. I've been through, like, quite a few of those, but I use them very often. So you get quite a lot in there. Again, I love the packaging of this. I think it is so classy. Maybe with the packaging could be a little bit better, because you get fingerprints on that really easily, if I'm being very, very picky. Because I feel like I love to pick out things that the brand can improve on, because then it shows how honest I'm being in these videos. But then I don't want to sound like I'm, like, you know, being very critical like picking them apart, but it does seem to get quite mucky quite easily. I think that's all I, that's literally all I can say, because the actual foundation itself, formula, is beautiful. I love the coverage, so it's not like really cakey and really thick, but it's a good coverage that it kind of gives you a nice blank canvas to start with, because I do like a bit more of coverage sometimes to have a nice blank canvas to really build that makeup. I really like it. I do think this shade is really good. They do have 60 shades as well, which... I know, you know, brands can be, you know, so inclusive, not include whatever, but I think 60 Shades is actually quite good. There's some foundations that I've seen brought out recently. Not going to name any names, but they've got like five or six shades. There's one I saw not long ago that had seven shades of foundation. And the foundation itself was beautiful, but it wasn't inclusive at all. And I think having 60 Shades gives so many more opportunities for them to have something for everyone. I haven't checked the change range that much, but in the store they look to have quite a big range. So hopefully this is a lot more inclusive for people. But yeah, I overall I do like it. I would definitely buy this again. I'll definitely be using this again. I absolutely love it. What do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts on this foundation. I I really like it. I do think it was definitely worth the money. I think it's made my skin look really nice, really healthy, really glowy. Yeah, I love it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. That is going to be it for me today because otherwise I'm just going to rant on and on. But I've really enjoyed filming this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. If you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. As well as leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below. As well as that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it means so, so much for me. As well as that, make sure you watch out because my vlogging channel is officially coming back. She's been resurrected.
resurrect i can't even speak she's been resurrected it has been like two years but my vlogging channel is finally back but that is it for me today thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you all soon bye